uh, four letters of the hadith. And the, the Prophet is here saying in this hadith that respond to the person who asks you for something with even if you don't if you don't have with the minimal thing. And the, the, the example he gives in this hadith is with a, with a, with a, a sheep a sheep's foot. Well, it'll be wolf. Wolf is, is uh, for animals, is like feet for, for, for humans. And uh, of course, this is an example. The Prophet is telling you that, that give him something. Don't, don't, don't turn them around, right? Just give him something. And he set an example of, of, of a wolf, which is basically something that usually maybe most people don't eat. They just cut it and slaughter the animal, eat everything else, and they throw that out, and that's it. So, the, so it's, it's not very uh, valuable. So the Prophet is, is telling you, alayhi salatu wasalam, that give him something. Even if, if it's something that you think it might not be very, very, very valuable, but at least you, you, you give him something. Of course, well, every time you read this hadith, as, uh, you, you look at that, at that meaning. This is, I would call, the, the apparent meaning of, of, the, of the hadith. But also, scholars practice this, this hadith a little bit with a, with a deeper meaning. See, when, when you read the, 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 the explanations and translations of, of this hadith, it's always about materialistic things, of people who ask you for materialistic things. But also, it could be practiced in non-materialistic things. See, the Prophet ﷺ, and this is a very difficult sunnah to practice, very difficult. You can try. Never said no to anyone. Just never said no. The only no he would say is in his tashahud, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasul. That's it. La ilaha illallah. Usually, unless, of course, it's haram or something that is completely wrong, then no, he would, he would uh, provide advice. But never really said no to anyone. You can ask, he's the most agreeable person. Uh, we'll agree with you right away. As long as it's not haram, it's fine. He, he will be okay with you. So not only that he, he wouldn't really uh, keep away any materialistic thing from, but also non-materialistic things, like a piece of advice or piece of knowledge. So try to do this, pr try to practice from the morning, from you wake up until you go to bed. Never say no to anyone. Be like 100% agreeable and see how difficult this sunnah is. And that's how the Prophet ﷺ was. Never really said no. He would, sometimes he's right and he would, you know, um, follow what the Sahaba, the, 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 the group of Sahaba uh, uh, would say, and, like an Uhud, and he knows that he's, uh, he's right, right? But, you know, because, they, because it's, a, it's a general consensus, then he goes with it. He was, he was a very agreeable on the other side. You know, you have people where you deal with, they're like, I call them stonewall people. Like, you never get anything out of them, let alone materialistic uh, things. But you, don't, you can't get any type of, 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 of uh, engagement uh, at any level. And this is not the sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. There has to be some level of, 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 of agree agreeability. You want a deeper level of this hadith? Allah is like that. This is one of the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Every time you open your, your, your palms for, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, ask Him for something, they're never empty, never. Now, he might, you, might got, you might not get paid in cash in full on the spot, but you will get, get, get something. Even if you don't get what you want, but you'll get the reward of it. That's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's attribute also. So, uh, so I feel like, like this ahadith, sometimes we take it, we take the, in quotes, for lack of a better word, the superficial meaning, and it's fine. There's absolutely nothing. That I call the apparent meaning, but it's also, all, there's always deeper um, uh, uh, meanings and, and, and uh, interpretations of these ahadith, inshallah. I hope this was of benefit. You're already Imam Nisa'i, fi tunani misad sahih an ibn Bujayid al Ansari an jaddatihi. Anna Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam qal, ruddu sa'ila walaw bi ghulf. صدق رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك لا إله إلا أنت أستغفرك وأتوب إليك جزاكم الله كل خير السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته